Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another exciting episode of ZV Universe. Lots of great action for you as always tonight. Some tag team action and some heat arrival has come to a head. So without any further ado, let's get into tonight's ZV Universe. Up first for you tonight, these two frenemies go at it one more time as Wooten and Alric try to tag team again and once again against Team Ass. After some heated words last night, Swans and Sakane decided to take it to the ring. The CV Women's Champion Morgan Bloodline in non-competition action against Saria. After their tag team match last night, Stagos goes one-on-one -on -one with Scud. The CV Grand Champion Rian Galford has something on his mind, we're going to hear from him later on. And then our main event tonight, Neo Forte continues his quest for the ZV Grand Championship as he takes on fellow contender Defiant. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get tonight rolling with tag team action. Woot and Auric versus Team Axe. debuting in this version of CV WrestleMans, Swoot Woot has been a force to be reckoned with. And he started out his debut in ZV Universe with butting heads with Alric of Altim. And they seem to have this mutual respect yet mutual disdain for one another, which has led to a few matches and, a few ta and one tag team encounter before, and they hope to get that chemistry going tonight just a little bit better. definitely been very hesitant about his friendship with Woot. But it's nice to see he's willing to give one more chance tonight in tag team action. Perhaps you two can finally put their differences behind them and get to yet another tag team victory. tag teams in ZV Universe and arguably the best friends in all of ZV Universe. Sorum and Vile and Team Ass. Always willing to go for a good fight. And for another great tag team competition tonight. And here they go again, already arguing about who's going to start the match. 
Storm and Vile on the same page as always. Woot seems to have convinced Alric to let him start things off. And there's the bell. Start with a good old-fashioned tie-up right in the middle of the ring. Storm getting the upper hand early on. But Woot quickly turns it around on him. Storm there quickly counters into an armbar. Puts him on the ground. It's impressive wrestling right there. Tossing Woot into the corner. Just planting him face first on the mat. Oh, what? Tossed into the corner. Ooh, nice elbow counter and a big boot. Oh, goes for a kick. Tossed into the corner. And oh no, another miscommunication. And Wood accidentally decks Alric in the corner. A few punches flying back forth. Sorum getting the upper hand here. Alric trying, trying to come in for the save. Gets a clothesline on Wooten. Once again, all hell breaks loose, and this match is breaking down. Team Mass seems to have come out on top for now. So I'm letting the dance move show it. Goes for the cover. It's a two count. It's Viola and Alric fighting on the outside of the ring. Ooh, nice knee lift counter. Alric finally back to his corner. Vile getting back to his. As Soren plays a little leapfrog on Woot. Ooh, and just pounds away on the back. Woot takes it in stride though, wrenches the arm out. Goes for another big punch, but countered. And tossed into the corner. Oh, that one. Ooh, huge face buster out of the corner, and Woot has been busted open, I think. Dragged down the corner, gonna go for the pin. Alric there, just in time to break it up, though. What a little miscommunication there. Storm accidentally decks Vile. Oh, and gets caught with a springboard cutter. Storm still hanging in there, taking the fight to Woot. Lands the big guy on his face. Just... Oh, quick to roll out of the way. This for clothesline gets tripped up though. Root getting uncharacteristically emotional and fired up. Floats him over into a Boston Crab, but he has got a hold of the ropes. It's going to be a rope break. Bile finally getting back up, heading towards his corner. But it's a little, too little, too late. The storm is dragged closer to Wooten Alric's corner. Alric officially in this match for the first time now. Got to tie up Storm. An excellent time to tag in Alric, as Wood has definitely taken the brunt of this fight. Storm wisely tagging in Vile. Drops Alric with a quick drop kick. Tosses him into the corner. Goes for a dive but misses. Alric counters, tossing him into the corner. Hits him with a big chop. Into the ropes. Nice! <laughs> Basement drop kick. Right to the side of the face. And Alric has taken firm control of this match. At least he did for a second. Vile able to kick out of that. Alright, wisely rolling outside, trying to gain his composure. He does so, letting a few punches fly and a nice drop kick. Pinning Vile right up against the ring poke with the apron. Hits him with a standing Spanish fly. And a hard forearm. Oh, goes for a kick. Vile catches it, just smashes that knee. Follows up with a forearm of his own. Very heated action on the outside of this ring. Ooh, Alric quickly counters into a DDT, but Vile is right back up, tosses Alric into the ring. 
totally unfazed by that DDT. Picks Alric up and just lets the punches fly. Alric takes him though and tosses him into the corner. Gonna tag Woot back in. Oh man, impressive tag team work. Into a Northern Lights Fisherman Suplex. He gets a one count on Vile. He was a little fired up now. Had time to stew in the corner. As he wiped the blood from his face. No doubt looking for vengeance on these two. Vile just rolling it up in that gator roll into a bear hug. Oh, he's a mother. Oh, drops him right across the knee. Oh, Vile's poised and ready. He might be going for it, ladies and gentlemen. Nails the BFG. Rolls into the cover. Ah, but Woot quickly kicks out. Vile getting fired up, though. He drags Woot back to his feet. Gonna go for a few ZV specials. Picks the big guy up. Oh, nice arm breaker. And drag him back closer to Team Ass's corner. For going to the cover. Sorum trying to run interference, but can't quite get to Alric in time as Alric just drops. Sorum, but Vile's locked and loaded one more time. Looking to fire that BFG yet again. Gonna go for the cover. Rev oh, wow. Alric attacking the ref this time. Pulling out no stops trying to win this match. Tag made. Referee finally stirring. Big right hand blocked and countered. Tossed into the other corner. Oh, a big boot to the face, though. Into the ropes he goes. Nice ah, backdrop. Oh, Storm tries to big, big guy. Big guy counters. Rare shove agility and counters with a huge chop to the top of the head. Big punch. Drapes him across that top rope. Sit down on Zorn. Pull him back for that camel clutch. Putting the pressure on that lower back. Zorn able to wheeze a lot of it though. Stones away on boot as he was crawling for that tag. Alric looking to get in this match. Zorn climbing up to the middle rope. So you got a plan. Oh, playing a little leapfrog off the middle rope. Gonna go for the cover. And oh, that's a long two count. Almost put the big man away. Sorum's not done though. It's a nice reverse chin lock right there on the head. Putting the pressure on that bloody, very messed up face. Toss the big guy into the corner one more time. Hit him with a face bust around the corner, and that's what busted him open in the first place. And drag him out from the ropes. Go for the cover here. Again, Alric right there to save the match. It's caught with a DDT, though. We're interfering. And Sorum's moving and grooving one more time. When he's feeling it, though, he's hard to stop. Goes for a few ZV specials.
Goes up to the middle rope one more time. Plays a little leapfrog yet again. Gonna go for the cover. No Alric in sight this time. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Disappointing loss for Alric and Woot this time. Woot definitely took a beating though. Now we're not, now we're surprisingly none too happy about this loss. Just not surprisingly writing it off though. Seems to be leaving Woot in the ring. Fantastic tag team match, though. Great work from all four of these competitors. Coming up next for you tonight, Swanstis takes on Akane. recently made her mark in ZV Universe, much like the rest of the Heritage Foundation, just kind of interfering where they see fit. And this recently caused a lot of trouble for Akane. Finally, last night, Akane had enough of it and called her out. And that's why this resulted in this straight one-on-one -on -one match tonight. Definitely had a less a rough few couple of weeks here in ZZ Universe, the least of her troubles. Being Swans is here tonight. Looks to go ahead and nip this one in the bud before it becomes a bigger issue. the bell. Swanson starts off with a nice snap suplex. Ooh, and a hard kick right in the back. Hear that one all the way out here. Kane countering the best way she knows how. Some straight punches. It's a family tradition. Oh, Swanson just raking the eyes now. Pulling out the cheap tricks already. Oh, spun around and dropped on her back. Impressive power from Akane. The deadlift power bomb. Ooh, spinning heel kick. A stiff forearm. And yet another snap suplex. Once is now just stomping away on Akane's face. Kind of hanging in there. Nice arm drag. Oh, for another straight punch. Doing what she does best. That's a few more punches fly. Drapes wants us against the ropes. 
Ooh, hits her with a punch as he runs by. And drops her. Into ropes once again. Misses with the punch this time, though. So once it's able to counter, tossing her into the ropes. Nice arm drag. Spin around, tie up those arms. And wrench away, ow. Swans is going up to the top rope. Huge knee smash. Drop her over the leg scissors, but Akane's gonna... Looks like she's weaseling out of this one. Not fast enough, she gets hoisted up. Dropped right on the top rope. Swans is gonna go for the cover here. Only get a one count though. One huge clothesline. From Makane dropping Swanses. Big right hand gets her in a nice German suplex. Oh, kept the bridge into the pin, but she was all in the ropes. Had to let it go. Swanses now crawling back to her feet. Quickly rolls out of the way though. Just to catch another punch and another kick. Oh! Pitcher, perfect brain buster. Plants Swanson's. Kane locked and loaded, though. Rolls her up, gets her in that double underhook into a German. Dropping her on the back of her head. Gonna go for the cover here. Gets the two count, though. Swans is somehow hanging in there. I mean, now tying her up in an armbar. Definitely putting the pressure on. Swans has put a few well placed knees, though, to get out of it. Ooh! Connie letting the right hand slow. Swans is now throwing a few hands. Not afraid to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Akane. Oh, goes for a kick, but gets caught. Oh, went for a huge right hand. Swans has had it scouted and countered. Runs her into the turnbuckle. Slams her down. Rolls her over. I think it's a one count, though. Swanson's with a knee to the face. Gonna drag her out. On oh, no, her foot on the ropes. Still only gets the two count. Trying to cheat her way to a victory. Hard right hand by Akane. And another. Spins around, gets her in another German suplex. Dragging her out, gonna go for the cover here. It's a long two count. Kane getting ever closer to that victory, but Swans is just hanging in there. Kane may be going for it all here. Oh, Swans is ducks out of the way though. Counters with a German suplex of her own. And yet another knee to the face. I'm gonna go straight for the cover this time, but again, she's all in the ropes. Referee wisely not counting that. Connie now <laughs> turning the favor, smashing Swanson into a corner and planting her firmly in the center of the ring. Now oh, Kane, oh, just going down the basics, pounding away on her face. And go for the cover after that. And then gets the two count. She's keeping the pressure on Swansis. That's the way to victory. Nice belly to belly suplex. Go 
Pulls the hoist up. Oh, Swans is with a headbutt to counter. Goes for the kick. <laughs> Gets caught with a clothesline. Makane giving the inner all, ladies and gentlemen. Makane looking low gas down on her feet. Swans is looking a little tired too, though, going for the cover. It's a two count. These ladies giving everything they've got in this match, boys and girls. Oh, looks like Swanson's might be done, though. She's setting her up. Nails her with that kick. That beautiful roundhouse goes for the cover. One, two, three. Just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Swanstis has put away Akane in no short order. And then, oh, come on. That snide look on her face to trade everything she was thinking. Starts attacking Akane after the match. This is just dastardly. Somebody get her out of there. for you this evening's EV Women's Champion Morgan Bloodline goes up against, goes up against Saria in non-title action. Morgan Bloodline out here tonight doing another strong showing. Proudly displaying that ZB Women's Championship. This is an interesting week, though. Whoever pulls off a good victory against her tonight might have a chance at that title in the near future. No doubt Saria would love to be that woman to take the title from Morgan. She's going to have to prove her worth tonight in this non-title matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, starting with a good fashion tie it right in the center of the ring. Ladies get pushed into the corner. Referee, you're going to break him up. Serious. <laughs> Cutting on the middle, man. Just dumps Morgan on her back now. So I'm stomping away. Rose Rip gets her in that tight bear hug on the, on the ground. Quick to counter, though. Nice arm drag. They tie up once again. And back into the corner they go. <laughs> Saria quick out of the corner, though. Driving Morgan back into the corner with that clothesline. And a nice slingshot leg drop. Right across the back of the neck. Oh, 
Saria, so far, doing a great job. Seems to be countering everything Morgan has to offer. Let's a fisherman suplex straight to the pin. Uh, referee's going to have to let it go, though. She's all in the ropes. Tire up now, wrenching back on that arm. Morgan quickly rolls out of it, though. Rather just tosses her away head first. Big drop kick from Morgan. Props her up against the ropes. Tosses her. Nice! Swingy gut wrench suplex. It's a tilt a whirl. Hanging in there just tackles over the spear. Saria quick to get up though, grabs her from behind, nails her with a German. Goes for the cover though. It's a one count. Saria impressing tonight. Keeping the fight on, Morgan. Rolls her up again for that bear hug. Inching away, putting pressure on that stomach. Nice crucifix slam for Morgan. Into the cover. Ooh, hard elbow right in the face. Syria goes for the kick, but Morgan catches it. This lady's doing a great job going back and forth. Although in the end, I'd have to say Syria has the overall advantage here. Now wrenching away on the head and neck area. Morgan again able to power out of it. Oh, rolls her up. Gotta go for the super kick. Poised and ready. Sets her up. Plants her with that impaler DDT. Floats over into the cover. It only gets a two count. Syria hanging in there. Morgan a little surprised, to say the least. Starts to rally the troops, however. Goes for a few ZV specials of her own. Follows up with a nice drop kick. Rolls her up one more time for another super kick. Morgan going to the top rope this time. Nails her. Oh. Oh, man. Straight into the cover. Morgan going for that jumping hurricane run and gets caught down, planted with a power bomb. Oh, gets hit with a devastating roundhouse kick. Oh, man. Saria rolls her over. Going to go for the cover. And gets a two count. Saria thought she had her there. I did too, for that matter. It was a serious kick. Got to sit down, get her in an arm bar. Try and make Morgan tap here yet again. So far, Morgan's has very good success. Dealing with serious submission moves. Gets her to Northern Lights suplex. Saria playing to the crowd. Going for a few ZV specials of her own. Cover after a hard elbow. One, two, and only the two count. Morgan jumps right up for a beautiful Hurricane Rana. Jump up to the top rope this time. Goes for the moonsault and lands it. One, two, three. And just barely, ladies and gentlemen, your ZB Women's Champion able to eke out a victory. 
Hard fought matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Casey Morgan with a schoolboy super kick. Just like her father taught her. She even lands the Impaler DDT. Sarah is able to kick out of it. Gets caught with that super kick one more time. Then gets caught with a roundhouse kick of her own. Almost knocks her lights out. Barely hangs in there. Survives the on bar and is able to pull off the moonsault. Here is your winner, Morgan! Impressive showing by Morgan and Saria, almost knocking off the ZB Women's Champion, but Morgan Bloodline pulling off the victory in the end. Great showing from these ladies tonight. I wouldn't count Saria out of that ZB Women's Division Championship pitcher just yet, though. Up next this evening in Seamless Competition, Stegos takes on Scud. Stegos debuted last night in a tag team matchup with Cheetix. Against the best Jeff, hence the Scudster. Pulled off with quite a victory. With some underhanded tactics as such. Gonna go on one on one tonight. Singles competition. This is massive giant of a man. Definitely gonna be one hell of a roadblock to pass. Anybody can do it though, ladies and gentlemen. It is the Scudster. He's gonna have to pull out all the stops and show us everything he is capable of. He plans to take on this giant in Stegos. And we are underway, ladies and gentlemen. Stego starting out strong with a rude punch. Nice rib breaker. Definitely showing off his size and strength. Hard right hand straight to the side of Scud's face. Oh, now just squeezing away. Picks up the scuds and just drops him with a side slam. It is rare to see the scudster manhandled like this, just tossed around. But Stegos is just so large and imposing. It's almost like this man was made instead of born. Stegos now tossing him outside into the crowd. Scud gonna hop back over the barricade though and get kicked for his trouble. Smashed into the apron. Scud finally counters and tosses Stegos back in the ring. With a hard kick for the first time in this match. Scud showing any kind of modicum of offense, but it is quickly muted. 
Stego just drops him on his ribs once one more time. I think it's one count though, so Scud's definitely hanging in there. Taking the punishment. Oh, is his face just smashed into Stego's huge knee. Scud wisely rolling out of the ring. Slides back in undetected. Goes back out after him though. Not sure that was a smart move as he just gets planted with a spine buster. If I were Scud, I'd have stayed in the ring. You gotta make composure a little bit. Ford is getting pelted and plummeted with blows on the bigger Stegos. Huge flying forearm doesn't even knock a big man off his feet. And slide back in the ring. Oh, but Stegos just drags him right back out. Smashed right into the apron and the chest first. Action finally back in the ring. Stegos just picks the big guy up. Thompson him face first right off his shoulder. That was a long way to fall, ladies and gentlemen. Wrenches the arm, gets him tied up. Scudster though with a few well-placed punches. Manages to get out of it. Tries to grab the big man. Just gets caught up. Oh, Stegos picks him up. Just almost a bear hug, just wringing the life out of Scud, and it's more than he can take. He's got a tap, ladies and gentlemen. And your winner. Stegos with a very dominant win. Over the Scudster. Very impressive and very rare to see Scud. Taking out that definitively. And it, oh no. And it, oh my god. Apparently Stegos isn't done with him. Drags him back into the, oh man. Still as the punishment goes, smashing him into the apron. And now into the steel steps. I tell you guys, this Heritage Foundation is no joke. This group is definitely a force to be reckoned with, pulling out all the stops in their matches. Coming up next for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to hear what the Zeeving Grand Champion, Rian Galford, has to say. Here he is, ladies and gentlemen, ZB Grand Champion, Rian Galford, making his way to the ring. Has had quite a success here in ZB Universe, defending his Grand Championship here and there. Can't wait to hear what he has on his mind, though. You know, a lot of the time I come out here and crack jokes, laugh it up, and goof on all the idiots who try and get the better of me. Not tonight. Tonight, there's nothing left to laugh about. Someone has been taking cheap shots at me for a long time, and now he's made it personal. So I'm not joking tonight. Tonight, I'm dead serious. I've always believed that you all deserve the best the ZV universe has to offer, but lately you've been getting nothing but the worst. I'm talking about a guy with a sewer for a mouth and the breath to match. Shots fired by the Grand Champion. I wonder who he's talking about. I'm not waiting any longer. No one pulls this kind of crap on me and gets off scot-free. So now, someone please get Defiant out here now, or I'll go backstage and drag him out. 
Well, well, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, Defiance Vi for the ZV Grand Championship has finally been heard. expecting someone else clearly there's a reason why I'm out here and I'm sure you're all dying to know what I have to say so each and every one of you in this arena needs to quiet down and listen You can say whatever it is you want to say, it doesn't matter to me. This night is already mine. I know what it I know what it is the ZV universe wants, and I know what it is I want, and it's the same thing. Namely, it's me showing everyone just how damn good I am at everything I do in this ring. Hard to argue with that, ladies and gentlemen. Mian has an impressive win streak. I'm going to do you a huge favor. You're gonna owe me big time, because after I get through with you. You're going to be a worldwide trend on social media. I'm not quite sure what Defiant means by that. No doubt Rian's already trending, being the ZV Grand Champion. Hey, how's this for a hashtag? Hashtag nobody likes you because you are so annoying. Let's see that trend. <laughs> oh. Shots fired yet again. The insults keep flying from the Grand Champion. The time for talking is over, which is unfortunate for you since running your big fat mouth is your greatest talent. Let's see how talkative you are after I beat some sense into you. You're stepping onto dangerous ground here. I don't care if I have to face you in this ring, in the locker room, or beat you all over this city, but one way or another, the two of us are going to fight, and it's going to be a brawl for the ages. That's who you are, maybe. That ain't who I am. I don't do things like that. I don't give anyone, especially the ZV Universe, what they want. I give myself what I want, and tonight, well, it just ain't your night. Please, your vain attempts at angering me are both desperate and obvious. You will not be getting a match against me tonight. There's nothing you can say to change that, so deal with it. Seems like both these gentlemen are just a lot of hot air tonight, not really willing to throw down. You have no idea who I am or what you're dealing with. A little word of advice for your own sake. Keep my name out of your mouth. I'm getting awfully bold. Oh, 
Oh, Rhea and called out Defiant. Defiant said what he needed to say. Wonder where that's going to lead later on, ladies and gentlemen. We'll just have to wait and see. But for now, Defiant's got his hands full in a match against Neo Forte in the, tonight's main event. Neo Forte looking to continue his quest to take the ZV Grand Championship for himself. After losing the ZV in the Bank briefcase to Zero Bloodline earlier on, or late last week, Neo Forte decided to take the fight to the division itself. First taking out Shori last night, now he looks to take on ZV Grand Champion's greatest challenge, or most recent rather, in Defiance. In hopes of knocking him out and securing a place at the top of the ZV Grand Championship division. Fighting has his hands full these days. Now catching the ire of Zevian Grand Champion Rian. But that doesn't mean he can look past tonight's opponent, Neo Forte. If he wants to keep a hold of his claim to take on the Grand Champion in the future, he's going to have to defeat Neo Forte tonight. But no doubt the Grand Champion is always in the back of Defiant's mind. We're underway, ladies and gentlemen. Neo Forte once again out of the gate. With a huge drop kick. Tries to follow up but gets caught in a dragon screw. Neo Forte a little too rambunctious, as it were. I'm sure taking a little time to plan ahead a little bit, or as Defiant seems to have. a big leg lariat. Ooh, a hard punch. Just drops him in another hard punch. Fine, now just picking Neo Forte up, slamming him on the mat. Nice power bomb. Placed him way up in the air, but Neo Forte able to counter out of it, drops him that reverse DDT. Now Neo Forte just stomping away on. Oh, another basement drop kick to the side of the face. This time. I'm gonna lock up that arm. Keep the pressure on him. Gives him a nice dragon screw, just a hole in the ropes. That'd be painful. Goes for the cover. Surprised the referee counted that. I guess Defiant didn't quite know where he was and didn't even reach for the ropes. Neo Forte just taunting Defiant at this point. Hits him with another leg lariat. 
Mia Forte doing a great job jumping up and flying through the air. Let's go with a big backdrop, though. Fine, angrily just stomping away on Neo Forte now. And drag him back towards the center ring. Go for the cover here. Oh, some deadly right hands. Defiant. Taking a moment to collect himself outside the ring. Help formulate another plan. Slides back in. Seems to have that plan in place as he throws him into the corner. Follows up with a huge clothesline. Hoist him up and almost an exploder suplex. Oh, misses the kick, though. Neo Forte gets him a double underhook. German holds the pin. Didn't quite get it done, though. Ooh, hard kick. Defiant, definitely on top of things. Hits him with a deep six into the cover. Gets a two count. Ooh, just drops the knee. Right on the back of Neo Forte's head. Locked and loaded. Gonna hit him with the act of defiance. Oh no. Into the cover. And Defiant has put Neo Forte down. Easily able to put the Grand Champion out of his mind. And puts Neo Forte away. And a very surprising show of respect to camaraderie between these two. Very, very surprising. However, right, that's going to do it for us tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you've enjoyed this episode of ZV Universe. Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, this is the legend himself saying you guys have fun, and we will see you next time on ZV Universe.